Welcome to the Learn Psychology series. Today, we will delve into the fascinating world of post Freudian approaches and the theorists who contributed to them. Let's get started. Post Freudian approaches. The post Freudian or neo analytic theories were developed to differentiate from Freud's work. These theories emphasize less on the sexual and aggressive tendencies of the id and more on the expansion of the ego concept. They highlight human qualities such as creativity, competence, and problem solving abilities. Carl Jung. Aims and aspirations. Carl Jung developed his own theory of personality, known as analytical psychology. According to him, personality consists of competing forces and structures within the individual that must be balanced. This balance is not just between the individual and societal demands, but also between the individual and reality. He introduced the concept of the collective unconscious and archetypes. Archetypes, like the god or the mother earth, are found in the myths, dreams, and arts of all mankind. For achieving unity and wholeness, Jung believed that a person must become increasingly aware of the wisdom available in one's personal and collective unconscious, and must learn to live in harmony with it. Karen Horney. Optimism. Karen Horney adopted a more optimistic view of human life, emphasizing human growth and self-actualization. She disagreed with Freud's treatment of women as inferior, arguing that each sex has attributes to be admired by the other, and neither sex can be viewed as superior or inferior. Horney believed that psychological disorders were caused by disturbed interpersonal relationships during childhood. When parents' behavior toward a child is indifferent, discouraging, and erratic, the child feels insecure, leading to a feeling called basic anxiety. This anxiety can cause deep resentment toward parents or basic hostility. Parents can generate feelings of isolation and helplessness among children, which interfere with their healthy development. Alfred Adler. Lifestyle and Social Interest. Alfred Adler's theory, known as individual psychology, is purposeful and goal-directed. He believed that our personal goals are the sources of our motivation. The goals that provide us with security and help us in overcoming feelings of inadequacy are important in our personality development. In Adler's view, every individual suffers from feelings of inadequacy and guilt, i.e., inferiority complex, which arise from childhood. Overcoming this complex is essential for optimal personality development. Eric Fromm. The Human Concerns. Eric Fromm developed his theory from a social orientation. He viewed human beings as basically social beings who could be understood in terms of their relationship with others. He argued that psychological qualities such as growth and realization of potentials resulted from a desire for freedom, and striving for justice and truth. People's dominant character traits in a given society work as forces in shaping the social processes and the culture itself. His work recognizes the value of positive qualities, such as tenderness and love in personality development. Eric Erickson Search for identity. Eric Erickson emphasized conscious ego processes. He viewed development as a lifelong process, and ego identity is granted a central place in this process. Erickson argues that young people must generate for themselves a central perspective and a direction that can give them a meaningful sense of unity and purpose. However, it's important to note that psychodynamic theories face strong criticisms from many quarters. The major criticisms are as follows. 1. The theories are largely based on case studies, they lack a rigorous scientific basis. 2. They use small and atypical individuals as samples for advancing generalizations. 3. The concepts are not properly defined, and it is difficult to submit them to scientific testing. 4. Freud has used males as the prototype of all human personality development. He overlooked female experiences and perspectives. That's all for today's episode of the Learn Psychology series. Stay tuned for more insightful discussions on psychology. Thank you for watching.